Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, YouTube family and friends. How y'all doing out there? Y'all, it's cold tonight. Dang, it's been actually cold all day today. It's cold tonight, most definitely. But, um, y'all, I want to thank all of my subscribers. Thank y'all very much for rocking with me. Thank y'all very much from a genuine place in my heart. Thank y'all very much. I really appreciate you guys. And for those of you who have not subscribed, but you come in to review the content, please subscribe. I'm asking you to please subscribe and help me to build this channel, y'all. So, um, also as y'all come in, to um, as y'all come in, please hit the like button. Please hit the like button, and y'all please hit the notification bell. If um, you guys would like to be notified for any new videos that I do. Also, if you have any comments, please comment in the description down below. And if you have any more information or you know anything that I don't know, you can always comment down below in the comment section as well. I don't know everything. I don't. I don't. I don't. But, you know, I try to let you guys know as much as I know. But, um, you guys, y'all are familiar. I know y'all familiar with, um, uh, with the case, with the, um, situation about Josiah Moore. And I did a story on November, uh, on November the 13th about, uh, about Josiah about Josiah Moore. Y'all know she had ran away for a month. So I did do um y'all can go back and look look at that story. Um there's pictures of the mother, there's pictures of Josiah, and there's also a video if you want to go back um November the 13th to see uh the the when Josiah was found. When Josiah Moore was found after being gone for a whole month and nobody even knew whether she was living or dead within that month. But thank God she was safe. Y'all, she was safe. But anyway, um, this what I want to talk about today is Josiah. Well, the police and the news, whatever, they released uh, information that Josiah had told them, which was the reason that she ran away. Of course, in the story that I did um, on November 13th, I did say that Josiah was abused. Um, that Josiah said she ran away because she was abused. But I found a story which says that um which which they reported things that Josiah said that her mom had done to her, such as uh spray bleach in her eyes, pulled her braids, you know, just did a lot of more stuff. But Josiah, I mean, the news mentioned it, and I'm going to play that video for you guys, but y'all, um, the mom was saying that Josiah, you, you're going to hear it on here, um, she was saying that Josiah loves playing video games with her little brother, of course, y'all know from, y'all will know from the last video that I did, where the mom, um, was saying that, uh, Josiah, Loves playing video games and stuff with her little brother. Well, of course, you know, what I'm saying? of course, she loved playing video games with her little brother. She's 14 years old and she was not allowed to go anywhere. You know, y'all little girls, little 14 year old girls, they love to do um, things that 14 year old teenager does as as hanging out with other little 14, 13 year old friend girls. Don't know 14 year old girl just want to sit in the house and play no video games with her little brother, little old baby, look like he about three or four years old, you know, and she's 14. Then he's a little boy. Yes, of course, you know, young girls older like that. They love to be with their little siblings. You know what I'm saying? They love their little siblings and stuff, but she's 14, a young girl. She would, I know, I'm pretty sure she'd love to go out. And play with other 14-year-old girls. You know, do what little 14-year-old girls like to do. So, you know, and the mom on the video, you know, lying and crying, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. 
the little girl couldn't go outside. And that's why she was able to uh, sit in the house and play play those video games and stuff, you know. Um, and then, as y'all know, allegedly, because like I said, I haven't heard anything else on it, but the stepdad, which um, was a police officer, y'all know he uh, had punched Jashia, allegedly, punched Jashia in the, he, he was charged with punching Jashia in the face two times. You know, um, when she went missing, I know I thought, I don't know how everybody else thought, but I was thinking that the stepfather had something to do with her missing because he didn't want her to show up in court. You know what I'm saying? About him because it was said, it was said that she was supposed to be testifying against him. She that she had a court date coming up right before she disappeared. And she was supposed to testify against her stepfather, you know, for at the time I was thinking that it was abuse on the mother, but come to find out it was abuse on Josiah that he had punched her in her face twice, you know, two times or whatever. So, yeah, but, um, I'm gonna play this video for y'all and, but I'm gonna say real quick, y'all know it, it was so sad, which is I, I discussed the same thing in the video that I did on November the 13th about Jashia. It's a shame that a 14-year-old girl would run all the way. They were living in New Jersey. This baby ran all the way to New York to go and run away from home from being abused. And it is a shame when there is no one in your family that you could run to instead of running all the way out of town as a young 14 year old girl. I thank God this baby was safe, y'all. I thank God this baby was safe. Thank God this baby was safe on her whole 30 days that she was gone. But it is a shame that there was no one in her family. That tells a lot about that family, though. Now, I'm not talking about the family. I'm not. Please don't y'all come for me in the comments. But I'm just saying, it's a shame that this baby couldn't come to a family member and talk about what was going on with her to the point where she really went all the way, 14 years old, and you're running from city to city, you know, New York, um, I, I forgot where all else she had, um, she was going from town to town, staying in the shelters and stuff, but it's in my story. I just don't want to say the wrong uh, city, the wrong cities that she was staying in the different shelters and stuff. But y'all, it should have been, she's 14. It should have been somebody in the family that she trusted to where she could have went and talked to them and told them what was going on with her. You know, but we, we going to listen to the video, whatever. I'm going to let y'all hear what the video says. But that was that was that's a shame that that baby went through all of that. You know that she really had no one, not even a family friend that she could trust. Instead of running from way to New York and different places in New York. But let me pull this camera up a little closer so that I want y'all to be able to hear. Hold on, I want y'all to be able to hear. To hear this video okay I'm about to play it for you guys have emerged in the criminal case against the mother of a 14 year old who went missing in October from her home in New Jersey before being found safe nearly a month later in New York according to officials Jashia Moore ran away in order to escape abuse at home the criminal complaint against 40 year old Jamie Moore filed Friday in Essex County Court, describes several instances of alleged abuse against the young girl, including stabbing the victim to her shoulder causing a laceration that is still visible, spraying bleach in her eyes, pulling her braids out and striking her with several objects, including a frying pan. According to the complaint, Moore also allegedly struck her daughter with her hands and put her knees on her neck and back, causing her to struggle to breathe. 
Moore was arrested Friday and is being held at the Essex County Correctional Facility. Attempts to find a lawyer for Moore were unsuccessful. Her detention hearing is scheduled for Wednesday. Moore's daughter reportedly ran away October 14th after stopping at Poppy's Deli store in East Orange, New Jersey, after Moore allegedly verbally scolded and cursed her for misplacing a grocery card, grabbed her by the neck, scratched her, and physically assaulted her, according to the complaint. The complaint stated that Moore told her daughter not to come back home until she found the card. Officials say she said she did not return because her mom would beat her and leave her all bruised up. Moore is also accused of educational neglect. Officials stated in the criminal complaint that she forced the 14-year-old to not attend virtual learning classes during the 2020-2021 school year and did not enroll her in the 2021-2022 school session. The charges against Moore were announced last week in a press release from acting Essex County Prosecutor Theodore N. Stevens and East Orange Police Chief Phyllis Bindi. Police said her daughter had run away from home and did not want to return. At a November 5th press conference, Moore tearfully recounted a different narrative about the grocery cart than the one that was filed in the criminal complaint. So I said, baby backtracked your steps because you lost it before and found it. So it's probably right outside or when you went in your pocket, it probably fell out. So she did. She left, she backtracked her steps. That was the last time I saw her. I cannot imagine what she might be going through just being away from us this long, being away from her family, who loves her very much, Moore said at the time. If anybody knows anything, please, please come forward. The 14-year-old who was found at a women's shelter in New York after a weeks-long search by local officials and her three-year-old brother have been removed from Moore's custody. We hear from um, Tashaya's mom. Please, Miss Davey, can we talk to you? Yeah, she's right there. Okay. Yeah, so can you just take us back to that day? Can you take us back to the 14th, please? Yeah, Poppy can't hear me. She's talking so long. So that was the mom with her fake crying and stuff or whatever. But I'm not going to really say that it's really fake, like for real, for real, because for the simple fact is she probably crying and she was hoping to find the baby girl and hoping that the baby was too scared to tell the reason she didn't want to go back home. But she wasn't. She told them why she wanted to come home. The mama probably wanted to find the baby first, you know what I'm saying, before the baby could even get 
to the police and stuff so that she wouldn't be able to tell on her. And as y'all see, she said, um, my baby best friend was her three-year-old brother. And they played a video game together. Well, like I said, I'm sure she 14 years old. She wanted to be walking around, you know, being with her little friends and stuff. And also, you see where she said, um, also, you see where she said, y'all, it just slipped my mind that fast. Uh, oh, my baby is going to high school. You hadn't even put the baby in school, you know what I'm saying, like school had been um, in in um, August, I think, I think it was August, school started, yeah, school probably started in August, and, and Jashaya wasn't even um, registered in school, you know, um, so she said my baby was about my baby is in high school or going to high school, but she never was uh registered for school, which was one of the charges. But I just want y'all to hear those because in the last video that I did, they had not said that y'all see they say she stabbed the baby in the shoulders and stuff, you know, and, and the girl had visible marks showing that she really was stabbed in the shoulder. And y'all see where they say that uh, she put her neck, you know, in the girl's throat to keep her from breathing. Stop stopping her from hardly breathing and stuff, you know. It was a lot that they said, and I hope y'all heard everything. But that's why I wanted to come back and redo this story so you guys could hear those charges. And um, the allegations that the daughter... Say well, they're not allegation because everything she said, it was visible to the police, you know. So they were able to see all the things that she said her mom done to her. She had bruises, you know, for everywhere that she said her mom did to her. But I just want you guys to hear that information. So thank y'all again for subscribing to my channel. And also, uh, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, y'all. Please, please subscribe to this channel. Y'all like the content, hit the like button. Like the content, hit the notification bell as well. So you can be notified when I do any videos. Also, comment in the comment section down below. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys with another story. With another video. Bye. Subscribe, y'all. Subscribe. Bye.